Yesterday's experiment was quite the interesting one, so for a little way to wind back down, now here's a brief reaction and my thoughts and reveal to Sony Marvel's Morbius, which will be released later this year, starring Jared Leto in the title role, and another they're added to the list of ones with minimum about DC Marvel roles. Well, so the story is going to follow the title character after her being given a blood transfusion and then to cure a degenerative illness he's had since he was a child, and which leads to becoming a vampirish as being known as Morbius as and after her venom, which despite being critically reviled, audiences is much more receptive to it. And since the film made over $800 million worldwide and a sequel of its own coming out, is a second live action spin off in the Up in the Spider Man universe. Notice that Sony has, although there are some elements that may suggest that they really want to make that crossover with the main films, which I wouldn't object to, but people wondering who would benefit more from this recent deal that's been brokered between Sony and Marvel. Well, I suggested it may have been a mutually beneficial whole, whole one, and the reasoning for that is that there are some Easter eggs the one I, that stuck out the most to me, obviously, was the appearance of uh, Michael Keaton as his character as uh, of Tombs, but known as the Vulture. I mean, since there's highly possibility that maybe a connection may be broken in our prison, and also it's further compounds how Venom also set up probably the worst cast secret of the movie that they're going to be setting up Cleus Cassidy, aka Carnage, by Woody Harrelson. And which was not rumored in heard before the film picture came out, and that was all personally an idea I always liked given how he has the range of the could play someone that crazy. He, he without a doubt. And be that as it may, hey, it's definitely a film that not really the possibility it might not work, but I'm very much open to the idea of of the movie being made and most likely if I get a chance to I'll go see it. I mean and maybe not right when it comes out depending on where I am I am that July I but it's one of the movies I'll be keeping an eye on and as for any potential meddling behind the scenes well given heaven how Sony is being run these days is, it would not surprise me. And there's even talk of the company actually being emerged into who the video game arm, which is actually one of the few parts that typically is doing well in this day and age. And it's given the mass success of PS4, as well as the fact that they're again going to be sitting E3 out, out in favor of having their own events. I mean... I met like a police experience, but that's another another topic entirely. Hey, I mean, I'll admit both companies have done very interesting things with these series over the years, and supposing what happens, given how they have the rights to almost seven hundred characters from um the entire franchise. I'll be interested to see what they might do, what this leads to storylines like Maximum Carnage, which we've got wars in the near future. I just certainly hope they can make it work. Anyway, the trailer already got to a million views since who's if not and still claim which they uploaded this morning. And I will definitely see what happens in this and I'll talk to you all later. Take care. Mm.